in this video let us see how to create staircase in Revit architecture we are now connecting FFL1 and FFL2 ground floor to first floor so there is nothing in first floor let us draw a floor in FFL2 so this is a false ceiling already you have created and roof for this ground floor will be the floor of second floor floor of first floor uh, we are not draw drawing any roof over here because it is multi-storied building roof can only be drawn to the last floor so let us go to ffl2 and let us create a floor over here for that go to architecture tab build panel floor floor architecture and here you can select a pick wall otherwise you can draw any floor you want so i am drawing a simple floor over here of um, desired shape yes here it is done yes so here it is created so let us see in 3d so this is the floor we have created if you want you can give the material over here select that edit type structure edit so add finish uh, add insert another uh, layer go to finish one that is already what you have seen in the previous classes by category material i am changing it as uh, some gypsum wall board so interior floor tiles okay thickness i can give it on my own and my 20 mm okay okay so that is created now we have to draw the staircase over here so here i am about to draw the staircase for that go to ffl001 the staircase will be started at the grass here now go to architecture i will go to wireframe wire yes here i want to draw the staircase go to architecture tab circulation panel stair stair by component is already uh, which are already available readily available you have to place them so better i won't suggest it better go for circulation stair stair by sketch here you can draw other staircase or shape you want here run run and here in properties palette you can see all the properties related to the staircase base level ffl001 that is nothing but staircase should be started at finish floor finish level 1 base offset is 0 that is nothing but it is connected to the ground top level is ffl002 yes it has to be connected to a floor finish level 2 top offset is 0 so multi story top none so up text down text this is how it is represented over there so we need to find uh, see the width over here if width is given as 1 meter you can change it as any uh, length uh, any uh, width you want so i am giving 800 mm over here design number of steps 17 here you can see the number default number that is given for 10 feet level to level difference because we have given ffl1 to ffl2 the difference level difference as 10 feet for that 10 feet height the connecting steps must be more than 17 here the minimum number of uh, steps you have to create are 17 so you can give num uh, number of steps more than that but you cannot give less than the number that, uh, that is mentioned here i will give 20 steps over here right apply so actual rise you can it is already easily uh, it is automatically calculated over here from 52.4 mm so let us start from here so it has to connect uh, like this like this it has to be here so click here and just uh, at the cursor you can see three rises are created 16 are remaining how many are created how many are left you can see over here uh, now 10 rises are created 10 are remaining just you can see the below the cursor itself click there and show the path like this here again it has to be started from here click here and complete it that's it finish now my staircase is created go to 3d view so it is the staircase created 
and one more thing you have to see here there is no opening for the staircase you have to create the opening for that go to ffl002 floor finish level 2 here you can see down so let us go to wireframe you can see actual shape of this here uh, here in new control bar you can select this wireframe I have selected so I could see the actual shape of staircase I have created okay so here we have to cut the floor now select the floor floor was selected here you can see in properties whenever you select the floor automatically uh, the editing uh, element will be floor over here in properties palette height offset everything is okay now you have to redefine its shape so for, for that go to modify floors tab mode panel edit boundary now you can see the pink line that is the boundary of your floor I select rectangle over here this is down and here where you get down to the down floors so select all I am creating so whatever you draw inside this pink box will be the void that will be, that will look like a hole finished yes now you can actually see this go to 3d view now you can see the void is created to step into the next floor so that is how you have to draw the staircase so let us create a railing also for this go to ffl2 so if you want railing go to architecture tab again circulation panel railing sketch path so you can draw any shape you want which are mentioned here in draw panel modify create railing path draw panel I am selecting a rectangle and this is my ray finish now you can see in 3d so be 3d yes okay 3d now you can always change the railing type here uh, uh, available railings I have selected the railing in properties I can see railing uh, uh, 1100 mm select that 900 mm pipe is available so that will be looking like this otherwise you can change it to glass panel so these are the types of railings you can create for your building that's it Thanks for watching. If you get any doubt, please let me know in comment box. Thank you.